So here's Google Earth. This is the program that allows you to search all around the globe, see all sorts of different things, and hopefully learn something about both geography and geology. So we'll start out in Google Earth just by going over um, a couple of the different controls. So we'll start here on the left side of your window. So yours might look a little bit different because you'll be in um, Windows, whereas I'm working in Mac, but it should be pretty similar. So the top part of the left panel is the search. And what that'll allow you to do is type in uh, any old landmark or city and you will go directly to that place. So for example, if we wanted to go to Washington DC, all you have to do is type in Washington DC into the search field, press return or enter, and we are taken immediately to Washington DC. And you notice as well that Google Earth zooms in on our position. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out and do this by going backwards on the scroll wheel on your mouse, like so. And here we're back to our initial view. So that is the search function. And then your search results here, as you can see, Washington DC opens up a folder. We have Washington DC here. Anything that's checkmarked means that it's actually showing up on the map. If you uncheckmark something, that will actually make it so it doesn't show on the map. That's something that you'll want to remember. So that's the search panel. What you can do also, if you don't really want to see the search panel right now and you want to give more space for the other two panels, is you can click on this triangle here and that actually brings the search panel up. So now you have more room over here on the left hand side. The second panel is the places panel and that's where we'll be spending most of our time when we're creating files that will help you with presentations in Google Earth. So what we have here is um, just a list of files or folders that you as the user have created that allow you to see certain things in Google Earth. You can make landmarks, you can make uh, areas that are highlighted, you can record tours, and all those things will show up here in the places. Also, um, if you download files from the internet um, that have things like tectonic plate boundaries, or they have uh, the snow cover for most of um, North America. It'll show you a map that has the snow cover. Uh, so you can see how, how deep the snow is in different parts of the US. All these files that you download will also be placed in the places panel. So right now you can see that both the temporary places and the my places are unchecked, but we can check these and we still don't have anything new showing up on the globe because currently we have no files in the my places or the temporary places. So that's the second panel. And again, if we want to create more room for the last panel, we can use this triangle to minimize that. Okay, so the last um, panel on the left-hand side is called layers. In the layers panel, you have um, a bunch of different options that will allow you to see different layers as they're called in Google Earth. So for instance, right now, the only thing that I have highlighted or checkmarked here is borders and labels. Notice that if you were to go over here and check this checkmark, you see nothing. You just see the natural um, boundaries of the globe in all this satellite imagery as you drag around. Okay, so I'm going to reinstate that by clicking on this checkbox. So borders and labels are back on. Now, any one of these um, uh, borders and labels or 3D buildings, any of these checkmark options that have another triangle on them, have more options below them. So if you click that to twirl that open, you can see both the borders and the labels. So if you'd like, the labels are going to tell us where we have certain cities, where we have certain states. So here, Milwaukee is highlighted. If I turn off the labels by clicking it, notice how we don't see that anymore, but we still do see the boundaries. And we can reinstate that by clicking it, and then we can take away the borders. So now when I come in, I can still see Milwaukee, Madison, Cedar Rapids, but I'm, what I'm not seeing are the borders between the states. So that gives you an idea of how you can control what is appearing and what is not appearing inside Google Earth. And I'm going to zoom back here for a moment.